So today we're going to take a moment to look at how to use the new quizzes in your Canvas courses. So first we need to go in and build a new quiz. The easiest way to get to that is in your modules. Just like you create an assignment, you can come in and create a quiz, name it. And once you've added the item, you open it. And at the bottom of the screen, you will see a button that says build. So this will take you to your build screen. In your build screen, you will see um, here a area for you to type in your instructions, but you can also come and click on then this plus sign. So we're going to look today at creating multiple answer questions and fill in the blank questions. So I'm going to start with a multiple answer. And this is the type of question where students are going to have the option to pick more than one answer to a question. Um, here on question title, that is an optional area for you to fill out. Your question is going to go under question stem. So I'm just going to type in a short question, which items are liquids. And then I'm going to say, choose all that apply. And so then down here, I will go in and put my various answer choices for here. Now, throughout this, you will see it's still got the same rich content editor as the other things in Canvas. So if you needed to add a video as a choice or if you wanted to be able to add a photo, you could also do that. And you can add as many answer choices down here as you would like in order to fill this out. And when you have completed that, then you would simply need to go up and click your answer choices to show which ones would be correct. You have the option to shuffle the choices that students will see in here and also to give partial credit um, or it has to be an exact match when it is graded. Um, you can align to outcomes, you can add to an item bank, and you can go in and add the number of points the question is worth and click done. So preview will show you what this question would look like. And so then they would go through and mark their answer and hit submit. So now I'm going to add a fill in the blank type question with fill in the blank questions. Again, I'm going to add content and choose fill in the blank. So once again, you've got your area for a question title, add a question stem, and I'm going to add a sentence. Now, one of the things they tell you here at the top um, that the statement um, and to type the statement and surround a word with back ticks, this is going to be a button that is on your keyboard directly below the escape key. And so I'm going to type in a sentence and I put in a back tick and another one to go around it. Shape and volume. So now once I have this, now, I can choose to either make it an open entry where students just have to type in what the answer is going to be. I can choose to make it a drop down in which I put other distractors down there to add to a drop down menu. Or I can choose to add a word bank where they have multiple words and word banks to choose from as their answer. So I'm going to use the drop down and type in the distractors on here. Um, again, I can align to outcomes, add to an item bank, and then I can go in and add my questions. So when you click done, this is what it looks like. So for students, students are going to see this option where it gives them a drop down menu and then they go in and choose the correct answer choice. 
So these are just a couple of the different options that you have um, for creating questions in your new quizzes in Canvas.